Hello, my name is Drew Wild, and I'm from GoDaddy Pro and the managed WordPress hosting team. And today we're going to be talking about building landing pages with blocks and different ways to use blocks and block patterns in order to build your landing pages. So the first thing we have to do is come over here to our WP admin, come over here to our page, pages section. And what we're going to do is we're going to click add new. I'm going to click on the add new page section because I have my specific theme. It does give me a couple of options to add a template. This is the Go theme from GoDaddy and it styles my pages specifically. And if I create a new page, I get a couple of different templates that I can use for today's purposes. I'm going to create a blank page. Now, when we're creating a landing page, what we're going to want to make sure it does is speaks to a specific audience an audience that might be coming from a specific traffic channel, for example, maybe a blog post links to your website. And you don't want them to land specifically on your homepage, which is more generic. Maybe you want them to land on a specific landing page that welcomes that audience in, in order to drive a conversion or to drive a follow up, subscribe, whatever it may be. Or a landing page could be used to, landing page to sell my subscription service. So the other major purpose of landing pages is, is a very targeted call to action that you're going to want to make sure happens when somebody comes to your landing page to increase conversion. Your homepage is more designed to educate and to drive action to different landing pages, perhaps a contact page or a landing page to buy or a landing page to subscribe, to input a contact form, whatever it may be. So for today, we're going to create a landing page to sell my subscription service. And what I can do here using blocks is I have access to all the different blocks. I can even search for, you know, different things. Like maybe I want to add an image is the first thing here for my landing page. And I can insert an image and I can you know, kind of come into here. For today's purposes, I want to make sure it's very well understood that, you know, building a page from blocks out of the box could be a bit more difficult. And for me, it's a bit overwhelming at times to think that I have to create a whole landing page just for using blocks. And so what I use many times are these patterns. The patterns are a grouping of blocks. So it's the same exact thing. It's just that developers, other users of WordPress have essentially saved block patterns as specific items that you can add all together. So if I come over here to the column section here, I can see that there is a pricing table block pattern that I can insert right into my page. I just click it and there it is. If I were to search for pricing table, you would have seen a different pricing table here that I could add. Let me add the one from my theme. You can see there's two different options just within context of my building experience here that I could add to sell my subscription service. And so this is a single, I'm going to call this one a group plan. And I'm going to call this one a group plus plan. And you can just, you know, add whatever it may be. Maybe you don't like the way the button looks. You can start to change a few of these items. I want this to align to the bottom the page, you know, whatever it may be, you can start to tweak the page however you want it to look or however you want it to be. I'm going to add another option here that says uh, good for 5 to 10 people. You know, you can see here the blocks, once they're added, they're very easy to use and edit can add different items, or maybe you want to say, I'm going to start looking at this particular plan. I'm going to call this one my individual. And this is my group. And this is 199. That is now. And I can say, okay, yep, this is how I'm going to, you know, build out 199 instead of $1. So you can see here, okay, these are a couple different options I have. And the last thing I want on my landing page is a contact form. So if I can just search for contact, I can just add a contact form right here. Actually going to be a request a quote option here. 
you could say the services that are monitor are, are single or group or whatever it may be. You can say, okay, great. Now I'm going to create a contact form. Maybe that's the only thing that I want on my landing page. You can see the different options that you have for creating a landing page with blocks and specifically block patterns. Now, if you are thinking that your theme or your out of the box WordPress experience doesn't have the right patterns for you, there are different pattern galleries that you can go to. The one that I'll show off today is the wordpress.org pattern gallery. You can search patterns here. If I go pricing, if I just search for the pricing tables, oh, you can look here. There's a ton of different pricing table options. You can just click and copy this and you can just paste it right into your site just by copying it onto your clipboard from the pattern library here on wordpress.org. And these are these are block patterns that people from the community have built and maybe you create a block pattern. You can even do that yourself and save it here and let other people use it. Once we're done here with our creating a landing page, obviously this one's a little hectic with a couple of different planning or pricing tables. So I'm gonna actually remove this one, keep this one, keep my contact form here. I'm gonna publish this page. I'm gonna to go to this page URL. And you can see that this has now become a part of my page. And from here you can say, all right, how am I gonna get this landing page out to, out to my potential customers? I'm going to create, you know, have blog posts that link to this page specifically, or perhaps you want to have specific ads that drive traffic specifically to this particular page. But regardless, the landing page either has specific traffic in mind or a specific customer action in mind that you want your traffic to take in order to help your business, help your site grow in the way that you want it to. Building landing pages in WordPress should be something that you do not feel afraid of. I hope that you can use blocks and block patterns to your advantage in creating these pages and continue on your WordPress journey. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.